Assalamu alaikum, welcome to the Real Kitchen, home to delicious food made simple. In today's recipe, I'm going to show you this delicious snack, perfect for Ramadan, and it goes well with some booze. Let's go ahead and start. So the first thing you need is some self-raising flour. I'm going to add some sugar for some sweetness. And then we're going to add some yeast. You do need some yeast, um, just a little bit. I will write all the measurement down below. And then we're going to add some crushed cardamoms. This is totally um, optional, but it adds a bit of flavor. A little bit of salt to balance everything. Next, we're going to add two eggs. Uh, I love adding eggs into mandasi or bursomali. It just gives you a nice flavor and it adds a bit of richness. And then next, we're going to add some warm water. Um, just make sure you add the water in stages. You don't want to add all water at once, then you won't be able to control. So I like to always start with a fork just to combine everything together. And then after that, I will oil my hands and then we can start kneading. And you want to knead this for a good few minutes. This is really the most important step, or I shall also say this is the only step that takes a bit of time. You just need a couple of minutes, knead well, make sure your dough is really nice and soft. And then after that, we're done. So this is really the most important step. Our dough is almost mixed and uh, you notice it's getting nice and smooth and stretchy and that just shows you the dough is ready for resting. What I'm going to do now is you just need a nice big bowl, glass bowl, any bowl you have. Make sure the dough, uh, you apply a bit of oil into the um, bowl this is just to ensure that the dough doesn't stick when you take it out and i also like to put a little bit of oil in my hand and just finish off make it into a nice rounded shape and you can see how shiny that dough looks and um, it's really nice and smooth and stretchy if you have kneaded the dough well you will get to this stage so don't be um you know upset if you don't doesn't look like this but practice always makes everything perfect so keep practicing and now all we have to do is rest our dough and you can see it has doubled in size i always like to leave the dough covered inside the microwave not on or anywhere warm in your house place it there and 45 minutes up to an hour and you will see it's doubled in size and all that you can see is the yeast it has done its job and now all we want to do is divide the dough into two sections this is just too easy for you to uh, manage And now all we have to do is uh, roll out this section of the dough and make sure there's some flour on your service and then uh, put some on top as well. And this just really helps you roll out the dough. Once you've done, there's no wrong way of right. It can be a nice circle. It can be a square. I always use this pizza cutter to get me the perfect shape. So no need to worry about getting it perfectly round or perfectly square because we have this tool to help us and now that we've done that just what you want to do is uh, also put some oil uh, heat some oil in the meantime and you just want to cut these into any shape you like i like to do them square i like to do them any shape or size that you want and then next all we have to do is fry this trick of the oil i have um I explained this to you when i did my uh luqaymat or burshushub but you just want to make sure the oil is not too hot you also want to make sure that your oil is um uh, not too cold and do not overcrowd uh, the pan when you're frying these uh, donuts or bursamali uh, just it takes a couple of minutes and just do not leave them so keep an eye on them and you want them to be this golden color you can see they're not too dark not too uh, light just a perfectly golden color and that's pretty much all done guys I'm going to carry on uh, frying the rest of these uh, bursomali and then I'm also going to show you guys another method.
thing about this dough is also you can make a donut shaped ones there's like any way you can cut these you can shape them into hearts i love making these little donuts as my kids love it as well and you just need any rounded uh, shaped okay you can use a cup or a ring anything you have and then all we're going to do now is fry these they look like donuts and you can see the way i have mixed nothing special very easy and i'm sure you can find all these ingredients in your house and now that we've done with these i'm going to show you also how to make this quick easy glaze that you can make and it turns into a glazed donuts in less than a minute Now let me show you guys the inside of our bursomali and this little pocket is the key to bursomali. In Somalia we pair this with a sambuz and you kind of make sambuz and bursomali sandwich which is so delicious and uh, however if you don't like some booze you can have it with anything else have it on its own it's very very addictive i mean once you know how to make these guys you'll be making them every week so just be prepared for that and next i'm going to show you guys how to make that easy glaze all right guys all you need is a little bit of water some icing sugar and then you want to mix this into a runny like a, a syrupy type and then uh, you just want to pour on top or you can also uh, just get the donut and place it in the inside the bowl glaze on both sides let this rest for a few minutes and then after that it's all done i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe if you have don't forget to press the like button and please subscribe if you like what you're watching and until next time assalamu alaikum